Right guys, this is video is totally backwards to what we normally do, just because I fancy the change really. So, welcome to, well, an unveiling. As I stand next to my first Robin van, as it is a genuine van. I've just spent basically all of today, getting, well, going down to about put Lochray direction to collect this lovely little 1976 Robin van. It's really quite a thorough history. It's got previous MOTs, the weight certificate from Reliant when it was new, and the original dealer stickers on the front as well. You'll see a photo of it at the end of this. It's it's an amazing little bit of history. It's basically. I don't think it's had much owners. I'll have to look at the documents to be sure, but I think it's only had about two or three owners. Um, after I was in the paper, and if you didn't know, I was in the paper um, about a month ago now, and basically it was a the local paper I wanted to do a story on a, the fact that I was story is wrecked reliance. And it didn't kind of become local, it went national. I was interviewed on talk radio by Paul Ross. I was also in the Daily Record. That's how it went national. It's been quite fun and hectic. And because of all that, this lovely gem I got asked if I'd be interested in. Funnily enough, I had met the owner previously when I'd been at a local rally, the Castle Fraser uh, Steam Fair, or the Bonacord um, Steam Fair. And... Yeah, we got chatting back then. He told me about this Robin van that had had a tree hit it and damaged it, but he put it back together. And well, here it is, the same van. So he had it for years. I can't, can't remember when he said he bought it, um, but he's it's been off the road since I think it was 1993. So when this went off the road, I was three months old. But it's a lovely little motor. Galvanised chassis was put on it by the dealership that sold it last, so it's like new. The engine looks actually quite good as well. I haven't heard it running because there was a slight mishap with exhaust when I came off the truck that I decided to dig into the grass and um, flip so the exhaust was pointing forward. So I've got to straighten a little bit of pipe on the main section of the exhaust, which should be easy because it's far enough away from the flange that won't affect anything. So well, that'll be one of my main jobs to do first. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely little van. It's the first van I've got. Well, first Robin van, because we've obviously got the super vans. But this would have been a replacement. So, I'll take you a little walk around and show you the van. And see what you think. So, we'll go to the front. There'll be a photo of this at the end, but we'll let you see it. The dealership was Angus Campbell. DD 40 to 50 Campbell Street, Dunfermline. This van has got all the bars for the grill, which is brilliant. One of the headlights, but I've got all them. This van came with tons of spares. Um, it also has the passenger door, but the driver's door is well missing. The yellow one, I mean, the original yellow passenger door. The rear door was obviously smashed by a tree. I've also as you'll see in the video, just giving this a wash. And it's came up rather nice, I think. This is not its original rear door, but I have got a Robin Van door in my stock of parts, thankfully. So this is actually a very rare one, because it's the Robin door that had the wiper motor fitted to it. So I'd only ever seen one on the 76 kitten that I saved. And here's a second one. So, here we have it. The Robin Van. As you can see, this this is my job for tomorrow. Emptying out all of the interior. Because there is a lot of parts. So, that's my job tomorrow. I see there's some hinges in there as well. Hmm, I think there'll be some surprises in them on that stuff. Oh, there's red door hinges. Ah, I've got the red door out the back, of course. So that's locked. So as you can see, it's split up here. So this is actually needing all pushed in, or gripped in that way, to pull it into shape. 
it's split here. I didn't actually know this was totally missing until after I washed it. So that's obviously to be patched in. It's split here and that's where I knocked the door in. Before we go further, that bit of tube there is the anti-roll bar for the back, or the roll bar for the back door, which should run around here and down there. So that's how hard the tree hit it. We've got a patch here, which I'll be taking out and redoing, just because we can do that the right way. These bolts and washers are actually what's holding the panel work in place, which is perfect, it's held it in the right position. This is a nice gauge for how far this has to come out to line this up. Obviously there's a split there, so that'll be sortable. Um, but yeah, apart from that, it doesn't look too bad. There's a lot of spiders on this van. There we go. There goes one spider. And into the passenger side. I believe there's a kingpin kit lying up in there somewhere. I've just spotted. Suzuki. That is not for the Robin. I will check this out because this could be for a bike the guy was telling me about. I will ask the question and if it is, I will get them posted back. In of here, we've got brand new unfitted engine mounts. It's a gasket for a light, shims for the doors, wipers, yeah, loads. I don't genuinely know what is all inside this van. There is that much bits I haven't a clue. I'm going to put them in my pocket to find out what they are, because I don't think they're for the van at all. And I know we had a Suzuki bike. Um, so yeah, I'm just casually inspecting the car myself as well. So whenever I look at it from this side, it's actually quite clean. Obviously repairs to that van panel is a big problem. There's a hole in the bumper, which is quite simple actually to repair. But yeah, quite easy to do and very, very plausible actually to restore it. It'll be a nice little van restored this as well. So guys, I guess that's it. This is the introduction to the Robin van, which I've decided to call Randy. I don't know why, as soon as I seen it, that was the name that came to my head. So that's what it's called it's randy the robin <laughs> so i'm sure i'll make some brilliant title to this video using that but anyway guys thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed this little intro to randy and well i guess we'll get to see the restoration process on this again it won't be getting a lot done to it at the moment because there's ahead of it the kitten well the, the slightly regal the 325 all that's to be done first but i will get this running and driving so that it's easier moved because there's no point of this being pushed when it's got a running and driving engine it does have a stuck clutch so that's one of the jobs on my list but anyway guys i hope you've enjoyed this video i hope you've enjoyed meeting randy the robin and i guess until next time we'll see you again oh and before i get forget remember and hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date with all the latest reliant videos like this robin the kitten the regals anything you do not know what's coming here next I have a rough idea of what's coming here next, but that's under wraps, unfortunately. And you'll have to keep tuned, stay tuned just to the next time that's unveiled. Although, technically, I need to get it first before it's unveiled. So, yeah, worth hitting the subscribe button. But anyway, guys, we'll see you again next time. And you'll get to see this more of this next time as well.